uh, you know, versus ah, uh, ah, uh, you know, that, that would be right, like right. so <laughs> creepy if you heard a baby like ah, uh, yeah, mom. <laughs> That's <laughs> what right. Yeah, that would be ridiculous. It'd be baby yeah. Hulk. That's <laughs> mom on the milk. Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to Feel Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacey J. Aswan. So, Amy, so yeah. so alcohol, you know, a little bit here and Moderation. there is fine. What about other liquids before maybe going on a job, like either voiceover or singing, like milk or chocolate milk or orange juice or apple juice or uh, caffeine? Any of those good or bad before? But, good? Yeah, so caffeine, I won't wake up without it. But I'll also have some water, too, because caffeine, A, it can give you reflux, and it's drying, the mm. same as alcohol. Mm -hmm. But too much, you're not going to be so loud and belligerent, yeah. right? right. Um, orange juice can be acidic. Sugar in apple juice can almost cause your saliva to feel like it's drying up. Mm. Milk can cause you to have more mucus and thicker mucus. Right. Not everybody, though. So before a job, no, before a job, really know what... You feel like when you have something. Right. Water's gonna be the best. Sometimes people like to put a little tablespoon of glycerin in their water yep. mm -hmm. just to make it a little slippery, slimier, yeah. so you don't get a lot of mouth noise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's yeah. a nice, yeah. nice little trick. That yeah. Do you have do. a thought on the temperature of the water? Oh, I was just gonna. Mm. Great minds. <laughs> okay, go ahead. So, freezing cold can cause your muscles to tighten a little bit and yeah. just cause it to feel a little uncomfortable. Too hot can cause it to burn and be scalding. So you don't want to do that. Lukewarm is good. Sometimes you're like, I just don't want to drink lukewarm water. Yeah. Yeah. So having it, even just room temperature is probably best. Okay. Right. Um, if you want to have the steam of hot water, that's the one thing that can touch your vocal folds is steam. Oh. Mm -hmm. The one thing. So if you steam. don't have a steamer, you can just yeah. get some hot water in a mug and Breathe it in right. a little bit. Yeah. Take some warm sips. You know, yeah. let it cool down a little Make bit. Make some hard boiled eggs, yeah. and then oh that's right. use the water that no, you so egg boiled. water. Yeah. So really? I was doing that. No, because he's because he's 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 out of me. Because I, I when I can't when I see steam, I I can't let it go to waste. <laughs> so I was boiling <laughs> eggs for him, and I was like over the steam. Oh like, gosh, I wish you could funny. see. It was fantastic. It was hysterical. Yeah. Except for the fact that now you smell like eggs. Well, yeah. You yeah. get a little sulfur smell in your hair. Yeah. I don't know yeah. how long that takes to get out. What about other substance like you know marijuana, mm. for example. I mean, I know a lot edibles. of people out there mm -hmm. smoke. Is how does that or affect? the ed or edibles too? Yeah, yeah, edibles. So that's biggie in Los Angeles because now it's legal. Yes. Yeah. So everyone is smoking these days mm -hmm. or taking some sort of THC or cannabis or CBD yeah. oil or whatever it is. Yeah. So s cannabis is what we call a vasodilator, mm -hmm. and that means your veins dilate. So if you look at eyes. They're all red, right? And right. that's because your veins dilate. Same thing happens in your vocal cords, is your veins dilate. So you'll hear it in your voice that your voice kind of gets a little bit like this. Mm. Everything's a little bit more relaxed, and you're not supporting one. Your veins are dilating too. You get cotton mouth, mm -hmm. number three, and that's with all cannabis. Now, if you smoke on top of that, then you can have that throat smoke hit. Smoke like cigarettes or? No, well, that's a whole thing that well, I, I yeah, never say smoking smoke. cigarettes is good for your voice, but okay. I'm saying smoking any sort of cannabis. Right. So if you smoke it, then that hit on your vocal folds can cause more of that irritation. Yeah. But edibles themselves can still cause the cotton mouth, can cause the vasodilation, can cause the reduced support that you yeah. need for your yeah. voice. Yeah. So, and all that goes with CBD as well. And CBD is the non-psychoactive yeah. part of cannabis. Mm -hmm. So yeah. a lot of people are taking it to sleep or taking right. it during the day to calm down. And I don't say don't. And I don't say don't do any sort of cannabis at all. If you're going to do it, just don't do it while you are working, while you're speaking, while you're singing. Right. If mm -hmm. you want to do it at night when you're sitting on the couch by yourself eating, you know, Funyuns used to be the thing that we used to say. <laughs> I don't know if anybody eats Funyuns anymore, but like eating Funyuns kale chips. Funyuns are great. Yeah, crunching on kale chips in LA. <laughs> kale with, chips. You know. On gluten-free potato chips. That's right. Yeah. The, and you're going to sleep. That's fine. You know, yeah. and in the morning you should be fine as long as you don't have that feel of the cotton mouth, which is really yeah. drying. Yeah. yeah. And again, you can drink a lot of water to help you not yeah. feel that way. And, but, and mm -hmm. if you have a super, super cotton mouth, a dry mouth, your your vocal cords are dry. Is there a, something, is is that uh, uh, 
a, a problem, a physical problem, if you constantly have like dryness of the cords or dryness of the yeah. mouth, or it, it can it be fixed or? I mean, it depends on why you're dry. Do you right. have an actual salivary problem? Is there an issue with your salivary gland that you're not producing? Are you dehydrated? Not is drinking that, enough you know, water. Are you just yeah. not drinking enough water? Because most people are dehydrated and they, because they think, oh, I'm not thirsty. Well, by no. the time you're thirsty, that's you're dehydrated. really dehydrated. Right, 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 right. Yeah. I remember I ran a marathon and they said, never, ever be thirsty. You need to be drinking so much water. If you ever get to the point of thirst, you're in trouble. Yeah. Right. So you have to keep drinking. And it's the same thing. You know, shoot for a gallon a day. You're going to mm -hmm. feel like all you're doing is drinking water yeah. and going to the bathroom. Yeah. yeah. For probably the first three weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, because it just takes that long to take all that water in and it's a focus it's a job yeah you know but yeah. really when you're using your voice as much as we are it's necessary well yeah. and everything functions better your brain functions better everything, everything. needs your body water. you can yeah. sleep better you can lose weight better you can yeah. just, you feel better you look better your skin's glowing everything's better yeah you better your voiceover skills become better. Yes. Yeah, you can your math skills become better. You, somehow. Somehow. you get more jobs yeah. when you yeah. drink more water. That's right. You, you don't miss more. <laughs> yeah, right. So obviously, some people live in LA, and some people don't. So mm -hmm. I, I know some of you, what you do can't be done virtually. But mm -hmm. VoiceLabLA.com, they can reach out to you, and you can give them some advice. Yeah, about. I can do Skype mm -hmm. if it's appropriate, and yeah. I'm very quick to tell you if it is or not. Yeah. You know, so you can email me and tell me, you know, this is my problem. Is this something that I can work on from Skype, from wherever I am, or do I need to be there in person? Yeah. I like in person better always. Right. But right. sometimes there's somebody, depending on where you are in the country, there can be a lot of people that I'm happy to refer to. Right. Yeah. Okay. So obviously, everyone's aging as we speak. Um, and your voice is too. Mm -hmm. um, what... What can you say about the aging voice and how to keep it healthy and keep it optimized? Right. So with the aging voice, different things can happen. First of all, aging, we all do it, as you said. It, you're losing elasticity. The same mm -hmm. way I'm losing elasticity here, 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 everywhere. It's like sagging a little <laughs> bit, just being honest. But your vocal folds are also losing elasticity. So they're not as bounce backy as they mm. once were. That's a technical term, by the way, bounce backy. Of course, backy. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You can find it. And totally mm -hmm. on, on WebMD. <laughs> it's, it's, on there. Wiki. it's there. Just dig deep. Just dig deep. It's there. Yeah, bounce backy. I saw it on Wiki. <laughs> I'm going to quickly put it on there. Now. <laughs> um, when, you know, I, I had a 20 year old today, and he goes, you know, every time I lose my voice, I rest today, and it comes right back, you know. But my 30 year old yesterday said, it uh, used to happen when I was 20, and mm -hmm. now it takes a week to come back, mm -hmm. you know? So that happens. So we right. can't be as rough and tough on our voice as we once were, just like we can't eat as much. You know, I can't sit there and kill a whole pizza, right. you know, right. like I once did. Well, you can. Well, yeah. I can. You just won't. I just will pay for it. <laughs> I can, and sometimes I will, yeah. but I will have to pay yeah. a lot harder yeah, yeah. than I used to when I was So, 20. I mean, to personalize it to people who use their voice, especially voiceover where mm -hmm. sometimes you're screaming yes. like crazy, you're doing ADR, you're doing c character voices that are maybe not in your normal placement. Yeah. Well, you know, so we also have to work with our voice. As women age, our voice gets lower. Yeah. As men age, your voice gets higher. Mm. You know, so we have a nice little switch going on. Mm -hmm. So we kind of have to work with what we got at the time. You never want to push it to a place that's not normal. But you do want to keep and maintain the strength of your vocal folds, the strength of the surrounding muscles, the strength of the support. So that's where practicing, working out, doing your vocal exercises is really important. And as you get older, all that stuff is really important yeah. for your entire body. Yeah. You know, the voice is just a microcosm of everything else going on. Yep. You know, so if you got to work out your body to maintain the strength of your back so you don't throw yeah. it out, you got to work out your voice to maintain the strength so you don't throw that out. You know, it's the same kind of mm -hmm. thing. So yeah. there are certain exercises. Make sure you're strengthening them in the correct way. Make sure you know how to use your voice and know how to control your voice. That's one thing I'm really into is right. learning the anatomy, learning the physiology, and controlling the small little muscles that we don't even know exist yeah. until we actually study that. Yeah. You know, my voice got so much better once I actually went to grad school mm -hmm. and learned all the different muscles and different, you know, physiological movements. Yeah. Went, oh, that can do that. Let me practice that. Yeah. You know, let me figure that out, how to make that sound, how to create it. Yeah. And then from there, I was able to control my voice in a way that mm -hmm. I never was. Yeah. And so that's a big part of what I like. Yeah. Is, is the exercise 
the vocal exercise, is it gender specific or is it unisex? Sometimes, sometimes not. So sometimes it is, but it'll just be similar, but in a different way. So if I have a woman do something on a certain note, I'm going to have the man do it a little lower if that's where right. his register is. Right, right, right. You know? How does someone know when or if they need to see you or someone like you? They have a problem. Mm. They have a problem that doesn't go away. Okay. And usually they'll see a voice doctor and they'll say, uh, see a speech therapist, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, and that's when they'll find me. Yeah. And they go, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You know? What about, <clears throat> and you kind of touched on this, but I just want to kind of finish this because I, I know people that have this problem. Um, you're getting older. Maybe you're maybe you're in your 50s, 60s. Mm-hmm. Um, you're still voicing, but you're noticing that your voice is getting a little shaky now. Mm-hmm. It, can that be fixed? Yes. 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 Huh? yes. I got Bing. your backs. You got it. You got it. Yeah. You know, it's um, sometimes it can. If it's a, a tremor, like an essential tremor, yeah. that's a little tougher. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes that is harder to fix. And you hear those. Oh, yeah, exactly. You mm-hmm. know, that is a little harder to fix. And yeah. sometimes a tremor is a tremor and that's just going to stay there. Yeah. Um, there are other neurological diseases like Parkinson's that can cause something like that as well. Or there's a weakness. And there's a weakness that you can start to train out of. So some people, when they're singing, they'll sing and they go, ah, you hear that really yeah, warbly. Right. Or right. you can change that vibrato, ah, and you can almost strengthen a muscle so you don't have that warble. Right. You know? Yep, yep, so that yep. same muscle can go to speaking. Singing, speaking, you have one voice. Yeah. So it's just essentially holding out your speaking yeah. is what singing is. Yeah. So wow. if you can train your singing voice, you can train your speaking voice. That's beautiful. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's such great information, such useful information, because I think, you know, I mean, voice is everywhere, whether you're being paid or not. Um, I have to ask you about the, the baby voice. Hmm. Um, you know, because you know people that have it. Yeah. And then they'll just start talking like this. Mm-hmm. And then you're going like, oh, so what what is your take on that so the baby voice meaning that they're doing it while they're acting a part and they're able to do a baby no even just just, like in real life you sound a little like a baby you Mm -hmm. know okay so um a it can be just sort of a pattern they get into you know sometimes it's a little bit cultural you know Mm -hmm. that they have a smaller voice sometimes they actually have a smaller vocal tract and they're able to do this and it just is where their voice sits and where it lies, you know? Yeah. If you think about a baby, they're just teeny tiny, right? Yeah. And so that's why their sound is teeny tiny because everything's a lot smaller. So that's essentially your larynx is rising, your mouth is smaller, your throat is smaller, and everything just sort of sounds like this, Yeah. right? And it's all just squeezed. Mm-hmm. Some people get into that muscle habit. So I've had some people who are in that habit and they're like, but I really want to sound like the 40-year-old woman that I am. And so we had to really space it out and really remove some of that tension, that interoral tension, and yeah. allow them to get, have more space. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so that can sometimes be trained a little bit. It's yeah. not just pitch. Yeah. Because I can speak low and still have a really low voice, and I sort of sound like you know one of those stuffed nose yeah. boys. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. I can yep. just be. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Like, I know, need steam. Know, you need know. steam. Oh yeah. yes. But, <laughs> PTSD of like my kid having a cold and having to do that. But yeah, so it, it really is opening that space up and allowing the sound to come out. Not necessarily the pitch of their mm-hmm. voice, but the space right. and the resonance. Right. Yeah, yeah. Amy, babies scream for hours. Yes, they do. And don't get hoarse. <laughs> Mm-hmm. A human being, a teacher, mm-hmm. <laughs> talks yeah. for a couple of hours yeah. and they can't talk anymore. Right. Why is that? Why do babies not get hoarse? So there's a couple different things. Okay. The vocal folds of a baby have one layer versus humans have three layers. Oh. So the actual layers of your vocal fold are different. So they have, A, a quick healing process because remember when we were younger, we heal quicker. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right? So they heal really quick. <laughs> really quick. Like yeah. Even three though minutes. my yeah. baby did cry for so long that he was hoarse once. Oh. So that it can happen. Yeah. But it is just not as common. But so they heal quicker. Also, their resonance is so different. And that's exactly what we try to train for mm-hmm. when we're trying to make you sing or speak or do something more correctly. Yeah. 
and to have more of that resonance and that constriction in the right place that reduces the tension. They're going, ah, 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 you know, versus, ah, ah, you know, that, that would be like right, right. so <laughs> creepy if you heard a baby like, ah, yeah, mom. Oh. <laughs> That's what yeah. right. Yeah, that would be ridiculous. It'd be Baby yeah. Hulk. That's mom. Hulk and milk. That would be terrible. But they, they're like, oh, oh, oh. you can hear that like constriction in the back of my throat, yeah, yeah. and that opens the space mm-hmm. of the vocal folds, oh. so that it's not as much of a scream as we think it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Does that make sense? That's Completely yeah, makes sense. I know. Sometimes to my chagrin. Yeah, but I mean, and always, that's like yeah. all we need to do is just channel our inner baby. Inner baby. As sometimes. you're doing your your death sounds. <laughs> and and you're, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't kill. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, are there any specific day to day things that people can do to? Stay healthy. I mean, we mentioned rest, but like mm-hmm. just any actual things that someone can do to keep vocally healthy. Yes. Um, I'm a really big fan of cardio, of actual body cardio, because that reduces inflammation, increases mm. energy, and increases your breath usage. And so, so for all my singers, I actually have an elliptical in my office that I make yeah. people get on while they're singing because that's going to help move your breath. That's a really big, you see singers who run around the stage jumping around while singing songs and their voice is great. So that helps a lot. So cardio is one. I really Mm -hmm. like that one. Um, Warming up your voice and staying in practice. Even if you haven't had a job in three weeks, still use your voice. Yeah. You still want to stretch up and down. People like lip trills. People use little straws. It's called semi-occluded vocal track exercise. It's really trendy right now. Mm -hmm. But different things that allow your voice, your vocal folds to stretch. When you go higher, your vocal folds stretch up. When you go lower, they shrink down. So having that movement is going to help keeping up the strength of your vocal folds. So singing, speaking, doing whatever you do, keep it up on a daily basis. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's going to help. Even if you haven't worked in a month, even if you're not going to work for another three months, yeah. Yeah. give yourself a little bit of a rest, but at least 20 minutes of voice use a day, of professional voice use, of yeah. practiced, right. trained voice targeted use to help. Cool. Yeah, targeted stuff. And be mindful while you're doing it. Don't just like walk in the house going, la, 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 da, da, la, 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 You know, I want yeah, you to you think really about it. Feel yeah. the, you really got to feel the actual exercise. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, you want to feel it. You want to focus. Like, how is this feeling? Eee. You know, you really want to focus and be mindful about yeah. it. Mm-hmm. It's very meditative, too. Yeah. I don't yeah. meditate, but some people who do, they say it works yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, a vocal exercise, yeah. in a sense, is a, it's very meditative. It's a yeah. meditation. Well, Absolutely. and it just, everything wakes up, and that totally. tingly, it's, yeah. like, it's like champagne in your veins. Exactly. It just feels really, feels really good. In your veins. <laughs> it feels really good. Did you just say that? <laughs> I did. I love that. Sponsored by Veuve Clique. Amy Chapman. Is awesome. Banana's awesome. And she rocks. We love Amy Chapman. VoiceLabLA.com. Reach out to her. Thank you so much of course. for sharing. Yes. Your Thanks for having me. Beautiful. Our this pleasure. is an ego boost and a lot of fun. My oh my gosh. Gracious. You're always welcome here. Oh my gosh. I know. Um, we're going to put you on the spot. <gasps> Tell me. Oh, Ooh. a fun thing. Oh, she's going to love this. Just Again, take a card. You may not know the answer to this question. Any though. card. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. What steps could you take in the future to achieve a happier you? Hmm. <gasps> I don't know if listeners would like it, but if I said I didn't work as hard, like maybe that's... <laughs> Ooh, no, no, we won't do that. Uh, sometimes... <laughs> but there's so you're much truth in that. Have... But there's so much I'm sweating. I'm too excited. You're there's allowed to rest, truth. too. You're allowed to have a rest, too. Um, you know, uh, really, balance, I think, is really important. Yeah. Yes. You know, balancing family, friends, having fun while you're still doing that. And I think that goes with all the artists too, because yes. especially if you're doing well, you want to keep doing well and you want, you're want you on a roll and you want yeah. to keep going. Yeah. But sometimes you really need to stop. Yeah, yeah. you have to refill the coffers. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. And so totally. I would say that full balance, yeah. even if it slows down your career just a little bit, mm-hmm. you're going to be much happier yeah. when it when yeah. it then goes. Yeah. So don't call Amy tomorrow. So Let her have the day yeah. off. Let her have a day off. <laughs> Maybe wait a couple I love of days. That. The ever evolving quest of balance. Yeah, That's always. Beautiful. Yeah. Always. Amy Chapman, you are amazing and thank you so much for True all that story. information. Thank you. You guys are lucky you got to see yes. her telling you about all this good yes. stuff, huh? 
That what? concludes our second part yes. with Amy Chapman. We're going to be back next week with a whole new episode for you guys, so check it out. Yes, follow all of us on social. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And just remember, you, you always, always have time for a little buzz. I am Amy Chapman, and I just got buzzed with Chuck and Stacy. And you can find me at Voice Lab LA or follow me at Amy Chapman on Instagram. And just a tidbit, you got one voice, so treat it well, all right? Buzz Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's Demo That Rock. Rock. The voiceover demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit DemosThatRock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time, and remember, you always.